who made these cairns. Must be a trail marker. Let's keep an eye out for them. See some ruins up ahead. Wait here, I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on it. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Uh, not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. Oh, shit! That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Made it! Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep, keep it slow, keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. It's gonna be fine. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Slip and slide. <laughs> you need traction here. No, Take turn the into rocks. It. I got it. I got it. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. 
Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. Let me go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight. Oh, oh shit! Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, Two, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil is uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Got some big plans for this winch. There, that ought to do it. Yeah. Oh, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine. You've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha ha ha, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could feel a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a form of squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, it's still taking a long time.
know what you look at. That. Oh shit, stop, stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Your shaky hands couldn't do anything till they get in bludgeoning distance. I'm afraid it'll be my honor. I'll pull a wager up. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Looks like that bridge leads back to the trail. <clears throat> Another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books.
Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? One down, one to go. <laughs> Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <laughs> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. Nah, <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, nah, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. Rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. But they found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a... Hey, is that a well? Well, well, well. <laughs> Get it? You know, because it's a well. Sully, you stole your joke. I noticed. Good sense of humor, though. Damn, these pirates weren't messing around. Did you find something down there? Maybe. Do me a favor, get behind the wheel for a sec. Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Uh, 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 uh,
So? Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know? Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, what were you Shoreline, talking about? Slow down. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. That's pretty much it. For sure, my idiots. Okay. We should just blow it up ourselves. If we happen to find the treasure, we just skim a little finer stuff uh, at the top. Don't even think about it. Not about that. Uh, there's definitely snow in the Just saw something. Yeah, what time? What was it? Stop it. Fine. Nothing over there, eh? Right? It's gone. Whatever it was. Hey! Uh, shy, little brother. We're clear! Hey, look. Anything in that pit? Oh, check it out. Hey, maybe there's something down there. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. Sam, you were Check saying? Check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. All right. What are you talking about again? Um, no. Oh, right. That didn't turn out how he expected. Like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met him. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. 
Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like you could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of it. Let me know when I can open my eyes! Check it out, boys. What is it? You can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. Just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. I mean, especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? I can't tell. Got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge. How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. Hey, Nathan, come check this out. The hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. I thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. <laughs> hey, be careful, kid. Hey, 
Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special delivery! Ah! Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? I've seen a few. I'll bring the car closer. Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know? <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. that bridge down. Let's try that again. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? <laughs> Shit! You know, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth <laughs> 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200 million. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. <laughs> We're all set. Here we go. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ah. 
our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. <laughs> Can't get in that way. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. with that thing, kid. Huh. There's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's bricked over. Heads up! God, Jesus! I said heads up! He's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's uh. It's, it's Adam Baldridge. It's uh, Joseph Farrell. And it's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh, let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe, maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys, 
Whenever you're done fondling poor Saint Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. The trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, our treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fuck. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? Confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of twelve. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no, no Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. If you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. 